Hello there, this is Elise Benin of marketing-mentor.com and welcome back to the next episode of Marketing Blueprints. Today we're looking at excellent examples of marketing smart homepages of designers and why I think they're great. One of the important aspects of a marketing smart homepage is the positioning message and I have to practice what I preach. So my positioning message, which you're looking at right now, is inconsistent marketing getting in the way of better clients and more money. If you can say yes to that, then you might want to stay there and read on. And that is the whole point of a strong positioning message is that it speaks directly to your ideal clients and essentially weeds everyone else out. So we're going to look at how six websites of designers do that. Let's start with Wendy Wood, wendywood.com. This is a website I worked on with Wendy over the last year, and I really love the way it came out. So I'm bragging a bit about it. So the first thing that I think she did really well is the positioning statement. It's a question style positioning statement. Are you looking for a design strategist? who provides spot-on creative and a flawless workflow for your complex, multi-deliverable projects. So it's a bit of a mouthful. There's a lot of information in it, but it says what she does, what she provides, who she provides it for, and the niche that she's focused on, if you're looking at my 10 niche options, is number nine, company size and need. She's going after companies that have complex, multi-deliverable projects, which are generally large companies. So her positioning statement speaks directly to them. It also feels very original to me. She worked on it for a long time and I think she did a good job. Now the homepage image also shows a warm and friendly Wendy at work. So I think that also reinforces the concept that she can handle these multifaceted projects. I want to focus also then on calls to action. So if we scroll beyond the services that she offers, which show little examples of her illustration as well, she's got two calls to action. One is her free download, the free guide, the creative brief toolkit. Shows a little picture of it, asks for your first name and your email in exchange for the download. And that's a nice way to capture contact information for people who visit your website. Because if you don't do that, you're never going to know who's there and you won't be able to stay in touch with them. And that is really important. And if you scroll down past her case studies, you'll see another call to action for people who are a little bit more serious. Sound good? Let's talk. Schedule a free, no obligation, 30-minute consultation and needs assessment. Spend some time with a creative thinker and get direction on your next project. So you then click on here to schedule the free consultation. A lot of my clients use this strategy. It works really well for them. It works well for me. And if you've never, by the way, taken advantage of my free consultation, I hope you will. But it's just a nice way to be able to qualify your prospects and let them qualify you. And you're going to have to talk to them at some point in the first place. So you might as well position it as a free consultation because that also sets a boundary and says after these free 30 minutes, then the clock just may start ticking. So it just plants that little seed for them. All right, let's move on to the next. Example number two is Carling Design with Tom Carling. And his niche is a combination of number one, a vertical, and number seven, which I call We Understand Your Customer. So we don't only understand you, client, ideal client, we understand what your customers are looking for. So his positioning statement, Tom Carling designs great books that get young people reading in print and on screen. So that's what his clients, the publishers, want their customers, the young people, to be doing reading in print and on screen. So that's a nice, clear and subtle way to communicate that. Then note that little asterisk. If you scroll down, we'll come back up, we're going to scroll down. 
So he's talking about books for fun, books for school, and asterisk, other busy, distracted folks. Those could be adults. Yeah, that's you and me. Tom also designs books, magazines, and marketing materials. So this is a nice way to say, I really focus on books for fun and books for school, so books for kids, but I also do a few other related things, all right? That's one way to be narrow and wide at the same time. All right, let's look at the homepage image. I've never seen this before. It's actually a double slider. See, here's the first slider, and here's the second slider. So you can choose of these sub niches, basically you, the ideal client, can choose which ones you want to dig more into. So children's trade, nonfiction book, and school library and textbook designer. So one market, but two sub niches within it. And finally, the calls to action. Essentially, there are lots of buttons here to show me more, show me and then one of the things I like, he's got logos of all his clients, what my clients have to say, what can I do for you? This is kind of one of my favorite things. So who are your readers and how can I help you connect with them? That is speaking directly to his clients. Very nicely done. Example number three is, is Kathy Saab. She's a designer and She's got multiple specialties. I wanted to include this example because she's really not focused on a particular market, but she's focused on a couple different markets where her experience lies. And I think that she's presenting all of them in a way that calls attention to the people to whom they will appeal without weeding out other people or alienating anyone. So positioning statement designing fresh branding and marketing materials for law firms, financial institutions, museums, and beyond. And I love the use of the beyond because that's really for everyone else. And then the homepage image, this is essentially a simple portfolio site. So the thumbnails represent the work, obviously, of the different types of clients that she works with. And I want you to note also that the portfolio is divided into two sections, legal and financial work and museum and nonprofit work. So that uh, speaks volumes about her expertise without having to say, I specialize in X. And then I wanted to show you, I think it's over here under capabilities and clients. We're a little off the homepage now, but I like the way she's organized the different clients within the different categories to show where her experience and breadth is. That's a nice way to do it if you're choosing several or multiple specialties or markets, which a lot of people are doing at the beginning of their process. And here's a quote from Kathy. She said to me, there is such pressure to get it so correct that people agonize over the website instead of making decisions and moving forward. Is mine perfect? Maybe not 100%, but better to get it out there than stew over it. I agree 100%. Example number four is Shannon Shields of 411 Design. And the niche she's focused on is niche number three, horizontal and vertical. So it's horizontal, the media in which she works, and vertical targeting specific industries. So you can see here in her homepage positioning message, creative support for marketing, communications, and public relations professionals. That's the who, the vertical, and the what is that little list, presentations, reports, marketing collateral, and infographics. So her homepage is essentially an example of her work that also communicates what she does and who she does it for. So I think that's really working well there. All right, then if we scroll down, I like this too. Her four icons, these are not the services that she offer you, offers. You would think that's what it would be, but instead she differentiates herself from others like her in this section with four icons, which are also examples of her illustration that represent 
four qualities about how she works. And if you just read across, it says consistently ready, willing, able. That's a very nice message to convey. And finally, she has why go visual, which is a nice little explanation of the benefits of the visual type of communication that she offers. And again, little animations to make it a little interesting and one-liners to explain why you might consider going visual. Example number five is Andrea Brody of Andrea Brody Design. And her niche is number 10, an issue-driven niche. And she's focused on people creating change. And that's what her positioning message starts off focusing on. So it's I, I'm calling this a one-two punch positioning statement. Creating change, let's design a difference. And then that's the one, now the two. If you're a nonprofit, municipality, university, destination, health, or arts organization who needs to educate people, create change, or enhance well-being, you've found a partner who can empower your mission. So this is a, a positioning message that is essentially all about them. That first line addresses the goal of the ideal client. They want to create a change. And then the short paragraph follows with details about who she's speaking to and what they're trying to accomplish. It's really all about them. There's nothing about design there. And then if you scroll down the homepage image, it changes a little bit, but she's got reports, annual reports, and other marketing collateral, examples of what she does. And then I want to call your attention to the call to action. So free report, eight steps to an engaging and nonprofit annual report, which is a quick and easy workbook, asking again for first name and email message, I'm sorry, email address, asking for first name and email address. And I like the little label, it doesn't say submit, it says get it now. And then underneath, looking kind of small, but that's okay, it says, I'll also send you my e-nose updates with helpful design and marketing tips. That's good. And finally, example number six is Jill Anderson of Jill in Design. And Jill's niche is number three, also a combination of vertical and horizontal, which you can tell from her positioning statement. She says, hey, I'm Jill. I make websites for creative businesses. So horizontal websites, creative businesses, vertical. And it's taken her a while to get here. I would say probably five years, but she's very narrowed into both the vertical and the horizontal. And that makes her uh, much more selective about who she works with and really helps to qualify people who are not a good fit for her. I also like the homepage image, which is a friendly photo of her. You really know what you're getting. I'm going to scroll down a little bit, but I really want to look at her call to action, which is actually at the top. It's actually at the bottom and the top. So let's look at it at the bottom, and then I'll come back up to the top. So free report. So a lot of people these days are doing these free downloads. People want something in exchange for their email address. So again, first name, email address, get it now. And her free report is called Get Your Website Done, 12 Actionable Steps for Designers. So this is where she narrows a little bit within the target market of creative professionals to designers. And one of the things about this free report is that it addresses the obstacles that people, designers, creative professionals have when working with her or that prevent them from working with her. And so if you read that and go through it step by step, then she's actually preparing you to work with her. I just want to show you how at the top, she's got it also right here. So you can get it at the top or get it at the bottom. And likewise, like Andrea, she also designed Andrea's website. She says, I'll send you my agility, easy, quick snippets designed to make life easier. All right. So let's go back to marketing-mentor.com. 
And thank you for watching. And I hope it was useful. And now your job is to apply what you've learned to your own and make it as strong as it can be because that positioning statement on the homepage is really one of the most important things. And if you need help, you can always click on this little contact button and sign up for my free mentoring session. I'd be happy to help. All right, see you next time.